Hey there, ever wondered what it takes to get your E2 visa? Today, I'm gonna walk you through the key steps to make your E2 visa application successful. Before we jump in, just a quick heads up. The steps that I'm about to share might not apply to everyone, since every situation is a bit different. These steps are what generally work. With that said, let's dive in. First off, exactly what is an E2 visa? It's a visa that lets you invest in a US company and run your business here. As long as you keep meeting the E2 requirements, you can keep renewing this visa indefinitely. So how do you start the E2 process? Let's break it down step by step. Hi, I'm Shadi Khan, the South Asian attorney. I'm licensed to practice law in the US and I help people worldwide with American immigration law. The first step you need is to register your company. If you're starting from scratch, you'll have to set up your business entity, like a corporation or an LLC. This is a crucial step because your business needs to be legally recognized before you can move forward with the E2 visa application. So depending on the state that you're registered in, this can take anywhere from one to three weeks. Once your company is registered, the next step is getting an EIN number. The EIN number or the employer identification number is like a social security number, but it's for your business. It's assigned by the IRS. If you already have a social, you can get the EIN almost instantly. If not, then it might take you a month or longer. So plan accordingly. If you're finding this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps this video reach more people just like yourself. Now that you have your EIN number, you can open a business bank account. So it's really important to keep your business and your personal finances separate. It's also a requirement for the E2 visa. Okay, so so far you've registered your company, got an EIN number, and opened up a business bank account. Nice work. Next, you'll need to transfer your funds into your business bank account. This means moving money from your personal account into your business account. These funds are what you'll use to run your business. So make sure to transfer the full amount that you plan to invest. Now that your funds are in the business account, it's time to start spending. For the E2 visa, you need to show that your investment is at risk, meaning it's actively being used in your business. This could be for things like buying equipment, securing a lease, purchasing inventory, building a website, or even marketing. The key is to make sure that the money is spent to get your business up and running. All right, so once you've completed the first five steps, the final step is gonna to be to submit your E2 visa application. Don't rush this part though. Only submit your application once your business is ready to operate or is already operating. Applying too early before meeting all the requirements could lead to a denial. To recap, register your company, get an EIN number, open a business bank account, transfer your funds, spend the money, and finally submit your E2 visa application. Keep in mind, this is just a general guide. Your specific situation might need additional steps or a different approach. So be sure to consult with an experienced immigration attorney before moving forward. If you know someone who could benefit from this video, please share it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.